So all of you Revit electrical users out there, I had a great question from a subscriber the other day asking, what happens if you have two pieces of equipment like these two domestic pumps that run non-simultaneously? We have them both fed separately from a main distribution board. They're both set up as pumps in our load summary, so they both add up. How can we get one to be zero without actually having to change its load to zero? That's what we'll cover right here. So let's take a look at the load classification of this domestic pump. We have it set up right now as the pump's load classification. Let's take a look at that. You dig down and the pump's load classification is using a motor demand factor, which takes 125% of the largest and 100% of the rest. Standard motor calculation. What we can do is create a non-coincident load classification with a non-coincident demand factor that we can assign to one of our pumps that effectively reduces the load down to zero with just by changing the load classification. So let's create a load classification for non-coincident loads and then an associated demand factor for non-coincident load. They are often the same. Let's create a new one, non. And leave its calculation method as constant at zero. It won't let us use zero in valid input. So we use as small a number as we can get. So how about 0 0.01? is the smallest we can do. So there we have a non-coincident demand factor assigned to a non-coincident classification type which we can set to one of these pumps. So we will leave domestic pump B as a non-coincident load. We did not have to set its load to zero. And when we look at the bottom of our main distribution board load classifications we have pumps at 12.5, 125% and the non-coincident load is at 0.1%. It's one VA essentially zero so it's negligible. That is how we can deal with non-coincident loads. Oh, and if you're getting anything out of this video, I'd sure appreciate you hitting that like button down there so others can hear about it. And if you want to see more of this, maybe even hit that subscribe button. Appreciate that, guys. Thanks.